Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm taking a closer look at the Apex Lifeline Ascend Reel. So this is a, an extension of their Lifeline Spool Reel uh, uh, range, and this is really the the kind of the rock star of the um, of the Ratchet Reel um, kind of lineup in in all of scuba diving. Most of them. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of uh, these kind of ratchet style reels just because they're they're quite plasticky or they they have they're sort of overly complicated and whatnot. But um, but Apex have basically looked at all the different available reels out there and they've looked at each individual component and tried to like dial it to 11 so it's the best it can possibly be and uh, and they have created the Lifeline Ascend. So the first thing is, is that this comes in two different variations, the 30 meter and the 60. Uh, this is the 60 meter by the looks of it. And it comes in four different colors. So these accent colors, uh, you get four different choices. And it's very customizable, which is what I really like about this reel. Um, most of them, it's just that one size fits most and it, it is what it is. But with this one, it's ambidextrous. Uh, you can completely rotate and adjust that handle system. It's, it's very, very clever. I'm going to speak more about it uh, later on how you can uh, sort of pull it apart. But all in all, yeah, it's a really, really practical ratchet style reel for whatever you need your reel to do if you're uh, sort of sending up DSMBs or um, you just need a line for whatever it is. Yeah, it's a really nice reel. So. Taking a closer look, starting off with the handle. So the first thing is the handle is rubberized, so you get a decent amount of grip. It has all this contouring, detailing, so when you're using it, even if, you're, uh, if you've got sort of thick, chunky gloves, you do get a, a really positive grip, so you can uh, sort of grab hold and control of the, um, the, the reel. Even if you're not holding onto it too tightly, that rubberization just still gives you a certain amount of traction. You have this stainless steel attachment point. Um, and the main thing that I like about this is uh, when you can disassemble it. So these orange uh, anodized aluminium sections here. So these you can undo this little bolt here and the same on the other side. And they actually disassemble. The handle can come free. The handle you can flip over. So you can have this attachment point at the other side. You can also rotate it around. There's kind of a nut uh, feature inside of there. So the handle you can rotate around so you can have it as comfortable as you want it to be. So if you don't want that attachment point there, you want it a little bit around the side, you can do that. You can rotate it around, um, which I think is very, very clever. Um, moving on to the ratchet system. So you have this big rubberized thumb um, sort of shoe uh, attachment point, which is, as I said earlier, is ambidextrous. So just with an Allen key, you can actually take that off. I wouldn't recommend it unless you were, um, you're really serious about it because of course it's spring loaded when I did it earlier. Of course you have to reload the spring and everything. Uh, but what you can do is you can take it off of this side and if you remove this Apex logo down on the other side, you can fit it to that side. So you can have it as a, uh, a right hand or a left handed uh, reel very clever um, but yeah this um, this over molded uh, sort of rubberized section just gives you plenty of traction so yeah even if you do have uh, really big clunky like seven mil gloves or something there's no way that you can fumble this is really big and, uh, and chunky and just really easy to use um, moving on to the uh, the spool, so the spool, yeah, you can disassemble it, you can take that off. Um, the spool has this big, again, rubberized, oversized uh, handle to it, so winding it back on is really quick and easy, and all of this ratchet style mechanism is very, very strong. They showed me some of the, uh, the testing videos that they did um, at the Apex facility dropping off rooftops and uh, and dropping sort of weighted sections off this line. Uh, very strong, very reliable. Um, I think everything except the line has a lifetime warranty on it. Um, so they're very proud of what they've created and it's very tough and resilient. The line itself, uh, Apex went to 
all sorts of anybody and everybody who makes lines and they tested them all or the uh, sort of stretch test to see how much weight they can uh, sort of handle, how much abrasion and they ended up coming up with this line which is about a, a two mil thick line. As you can see it's bright orange so really easy to see in all sorts of waters both green and blue but very, very strong, very abrasion resistant and very easy to see. Um, the leader you can see is huge. Uh, so you have this massive loop, so very easy to, uh, to attach onto a DSMB, plenty of space. And one thing you'll notice is that they didn't actually uh, tie a knot to create that uh, that looper uh, leader. They actually sewed the line together, which means it's much, much stronger. They actually tested that if you tie a, a knot to, uh, to create this, it actually weakens that one section of line. Uh, so over time, it can become a failure point, whereas if you sew it, it's much, much more, uh, more stronger for longer. They have the little bead on the end so that you can uh, sort of better control it. And uh, and this section with the uh, the heat shrink wrap, uh, again, just gives you something to, uh, to sort of grab hold of if you need to undo a knot. Winding it back on, quick and easy, uh, nice and satisfying. And uh, and you have that guide which guides the line back into position and, uh, and keeps it from um, um, and just getting caught up. On the other side, uh, you see more uh, sort of detailing and, uh, and branding, but you actually have this retaining point system here. So what Apex saw was that a lot of scuba divers, they were attaching their DSMBs onto the spool to make it a kind of a, a one part uh, piece of equipment. So they attach these uh, these retaining points so you can hook your bungee for your, um, uh, for your DSMB onto that just to make it a bit easier, give the divers actually what they were using that um, uh, the reels for to attach their DSMBs onto that. So you have these retaining points, these hook systems underneath that. So all in all, very, very clever. Um, it's got a fair amount of weight to it, um, which gives it a good, strong feel. And um, yeah, they, they showed videos of trucks driving over it, yeah, literally throwing it off buildings and then using it still. Very, very strong and reliable. Um, it has a really nice feel to it, uh, big and chunky. So if you do have like five or seven mil gloves, you'll still be able to use it just as easy. Everything's really oversized. And they've really gone down the customization route where you can fully disassemble it to either make it more practical for yourself or to, to wash it and clean it thoroughly between uses. Um, yeah, they really have made a really nice reel in the, uh, in the Lifeline Ascent. Check it out. There's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link to the Lifeline Ascent down in the description below. Thank you for watching and safe diving.